Hi everyone, welcome back again to my blog. This is Pau and this is iPilm Tech. So hi guys, we're back again for another video. In this video we're gonna talk about lens adapter. So as you have may known that I have a Fujifilm X-T2, I'll show you. So this one, this is my Fujifilm X-T2. And Fujifilm cameras have X mount for their lenses. And also, I have a Fujika ST605. Yeah, this is a film camera that used a um, M42 screw mount lenses. So, the adapter that we're gonna talk about today is this one. This is the best choy hmm? best choy lens adapter so that's it so this is the box we're gonna open it so inside the box is the adapter so this adapter is a x mount adapter so i can put this in my in my fuji film camera and then um to adapt my vintage lens this vintage lens is from the Fuji film um, film camera so I got this um, adapter to put my Fuji film to put the vintage film to my Fuji film camera so this is how it looks like so okay um, I'm gonna talk to you about uh, um, the durability of the lens. The lens is made of plastic and metal. So the body, the black part is plastic and the silver parts are metal. There you go. Um, I think it's durable and uh, you can actually kill someone if you throw this thing so yeah and this is fu full manual focus so um, my lens have manual focus um, aperture settings is on the lens as well and also I can change the ISO shutter speed um, with this um, with this adapter now we're gonna talk about photo quality this by the way um i tried using this 50 mil vintage lens um to the fujifilm and um the photo quality is really good the only thing the only problem i have with this is the manual focus yeah it's really hard to focus this thing and some of the photos is a bit blurry so i'm going to show you the photos right here um, as you can see there is blurry parts sometimes it's in the middle and sometimes it's in the front or on the side um, it's because i really find it hard to do manual focusing so there you go but like um the photo quality is really good it's what you get from a vintage from a vintage um glass um vintage glasses is really cheap right now because um i think these vintage glasses are really from those film slr film cameras from years 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 ago um, actually the Fujika film camera that I have is actually from the 70s or 80s so imagine that and this is the lens that they use during that time and it's really useful that you can use your vintage camera to your new digital cameras yeah so the question is the final question in this vlog is it worth it <coughs> 
actually if you already have let's say old vintage camera it is worth it to buy this um, this adapter this adapter cost me 15 euros so at least nearly 1000 pesos so it is really really worth it if you already have vintage glasses lens but if you are trying to get an alternative cheap lens and you want to buy a vintage lens and then just adapt it to your Fuji camera I don't think it's good because <clears throat> yes the vintage glasses are cheap this adapter is cheap but you can't really use the full potential of your of your camera because you're using um, third-party lenses I mean um, other kind of lens and just adapt it into your Fujifilm I think I'm gonna cough <laughs> My throat hurts, so I'm really sorry. So there you go, guys. Um, I wouldn't really recommend buying vintage glass and then adapter just to put it in your Fujifilm camera to save money. No, if I were you, just buy original vintage, um, original Fujifilm lenses for your camera. Yeah. So if you have other cameras like Canon, Sony, Nikon, and then you are trying to save money to buy cheap lens, no. Sorry about that. My throat is really itchy, so I have to cough it out. But anyway, like I said, um, if you have Canon, Nikon, Sony, Fujifilm camera, and you want to try to save money, and you want to buy vintage lens and this cheap and any cheap adapters I think it's not worth it all I can say to you is buy um, third-party brand for your lens um, and actual fit for your lens because I know Sigma Tamron um, there is a cheap uh, cheap brands like Meike I don't know if you've heard about it they make lens that is fit for Canon for EF in EFS Canon and I think EFM as well lens and um, for Sony I know um, all this um, have Sony fit lenses as well and I know Nikon as well so um, if you wanna try to save money to buy lens because their original brand lenses are very expensive just go for third-party brand lenses that's I will that's what I would recommend for um, people who's trying to save money yeah but um, for me the reason that I bought this this adapter is because I have the film camera and I just wanna I just wanna use the the lens to my to my camera I just want to see if it's work and if it's not too much a hassle but I saw a big manual focus problem so I said um, it's it's not really worth it you know but um, if you are a person who knows how to tweak the manual focusing then maybe if you already have the vintage lenses I would suggest buy an adapter and adapt it to what kind of camera you have so there you go so um I'm not gonna I'm not gonna show you how, how it likes when you adapt it to a Fuji film camera but um, it's it actually looks cool it makes um, the Fuji film camera really um, compact because this lenses is I mean this vintage lenses are very small like there you go if you compare it to an actual Fujifilm lens it's large so yeah so there you go guys um, I hope you've learned something from this video I've been meaning to do this video ages ago but um, I had to
to try and take sample photos for you like I showed a while ago but you know there you go um, I'm gonna show that photos again at the end of this video so um, watch out so there you go and um, I think that's it for today and um, yeah I'll see you on the next one and have a good day bye bye